Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today. Today we will be going over how to combine multiple PDFs into one PDF file. So this way you can submit it for either homework or other submissions you may have in other classes. We, we understand that there are multiple combining PDF applications out there, both free and paid for, uh, but this will be just an introduction to one of the free online versions that you guys can use. And uh, it's pretty intuitive so that that way you guys can utilize that for this class. However, if you do have any other file com uh, PDF combiners that you prefer, feel free to use them. This is just a suggestion. So we will go ahead and start looking at my desktop. We can see that right here, I have created two test files that are both PDFs, one that just says test one, while the other is just another blank document that says test two. Keep in mind, these documents are only one page. However, this PDF combiner will let you combine PDFs that have multiple pages. For example, if test one had three or four, three or four pages and test two had four to 40 pages, it will be able to combine those PDFs. Whenever you are combining a PDF, you want to keep in mind that when you're combining it, it's essentially just stacking the PDFs on top of each other in the order that you arrange them. So just keep that in mind and that any in uh, PDF insertions within a big document is going to be through a different ap application. So we will go to the website that on Chrome that is easypdf.com forward slash merge dot dash PDF forward slash. This is a free online tool. Whenever you open the web page, this is what you will see. You can see that there is a red add files button. So I will go ahead and add the files. I will select them all. It will pull up the directory. So just find where those files are located. We can see here that there is a test one, test two uploaded. We can see a few icons. One is like a drag and drop to reorder the actual PDFs. One is to rotate. So as you can see, I can rotate the PDF here. So just in case if there's any PDFs that are uploaded in the wrong orientation, there's also an enlarge. So it gives you a preview window of the actual uh, document and ultimately a remove. So as you can see right here, it says test two, test one. I don't want that order. I can go ahead and drag this and change the order with test one, test two. And here's another add icon. So I can select more uh, PDFs into this actual merging. However, today we'll just be merging these two. So uh, also we have a file mode and a page mode. The file mode will just tell you what type of actual file it is. Page mode will tell you what page order in which these actual documents will be combined. Once everything is properly uploaded, we will select this merge PDF file. It will upload. It will take some time depending on how large the PDF file is. And I will go ahead and download it. Also, can you take note, there is an option to start over. However, I, uh, I was happy with what I need to do, but you can also save to all any of these other uh, online saving services such as Google Drive, Dropbox, or OneDrive. Right here, I just have it downloaded onto my computer. I'll select and open. And as you can see right here, we have the test one document and the test two document together. And this is all in one PDF. So I'll, all I will need to do is go into my downloads folder and extract that folder, save it onto somewhere I know on my desktop. And then I will be able to upload that onto Canvas, either for grading or any other submission. Keep in mind, there may or may not be homework assignments that you may or may not need to draw uh, something on a separate file. So you can utilize uh, a sheet of paper, draw, hand draw on that paper. You can utilize any PDF scanner on, on your phone. Uh, there's plenty of apps out there that you can scan in a PDF, and then you can utilize this PDF merger to merge those PDFs into one homework submission uh, in the case that you need to draw something for that submission. Other than that, if you guys have any other questions, please make sure to communicate to that to your TAs or Mike, and we will be able to help you guys out. Thank you guys for joining me today, and I'll see you guys on the next one.